banana stalks crafting. But now we're going back to Bangkok in Taling Shan, Wat Champa community. Go ahead. So we are representing uh, the community of Wat Champa community. We want to present the banana stalks crafting skills at Wat Champa community. So I'd like to give you an introduction. So uh, this this is actually a cultural heritage uh, from the Sat Jao, uh, which is actually located in Banglamat and Chim Pli, Tit uh, Malingtan district. Tang Yuong, or banana stalks crafting, is actually incorporated in everyday use, like the coming of age ritual event, funeral, or housewarming uh, ceremony. The person who plays an important role in safeguarding and conserving this particular heritage is Ekun Tawi Sak Wang Jan. He has actually learned this particular skills from his father and to continue to implement it and also teaching uh, to the community and the public. This actually represents the identity of this particular skills. So the uh, instruments or equipment that are needed is actually the uh, wild banana stalks, uh, pumpkins, and uh, flowers and instruments uh, that are needed like uh, the handle sticks or paint trolls. So the comp uh, components of this particular uh, banana uh, uh, crafts uh, is actually uh, has far various components, which is the flowers, uh, curtains, uh, the carved fresh produce, and finally at the bottom is the banana stalks. So the design is actually by uh, the concepts of cosmology, and as you can see, the deities uh, and God's designs and lower is the mystical animals. The identities of this particular skills on the left is actually the carving skills. And the next is actually the uh, gold lease application and also the uh, the design and also uh, the orderly and meticulous design of the carving. So aside from the uh, banana skills, uh, banana crafting skills, there are other heritage that exists as well, such as the desserts, uh, which is called krayatip, which is actually uh, unique to our local community, uh, usually actually made after the observance of the vasa. And another heritage is actually the elevated ditch aquaculture, uh, which is actually unique because the, this area is actually the lowland area or the watershed area. So who are we or what is Watampa community? So we are located in Bang Ramat yeah, and it's surrounded by large canals, Bang Ramat and Wat Sai canals. And there are small canals that connect uh, these canals together. So um, this particular community is exists as an, a small island. And uh, we are thinking it has existed in uh, from the period of Ayutthaya and has, you know, uh, stories uh, back in the ancient poetries. So you can see the settlement uh, in the Puyutaya. Uh, so most of them, they're actually farmers. So unique uh, to this particular agriculture is the elevated dish system because uh, there, there is a lot of flood, flooding and it's low land. So the elevated ditch actually helps uh, with the agriculture and saves water for the drought season. So our particular community is uh, inherently linked with religious uh, or Buddhism. And it can be seen through the activities and arts and uh, the Vasa observance and the parades, you know, uh, at the ordina in ordination ceremonies, etc. So you can see the arts, you know, uh, that is inherently linked with religion. And you can see arts through, you know, various events like ordination or uh, funerals. Next slide, please. Oh. 
So during the Second World War II, we have an important figure who Luang Watanasin. He is actually the craftsman uh, who works in uh, the palace. And he has actually disseminated the banana stall crafting skills to the local community. And it has been taught to Kunjarun Wang Dan. Then uh, this, he, this craftsman, he actually has many skills, such as uh, he's highly skilled in carpentry as well. And he has taught this to Mr. Tawisak Wang Dan, uh, who is the son. So what is the situation of this particular heritage? So there is a risk of actually depleting and not a lot of people know the skills. So the person uh, actually knows the skills uh, will need to have, it will need to be highly, extremely an expert uh, and also uh, continuously uh, doing the crafts. So considering the current situation, you know, in funerals, uh, banana stall crafting skills also is also a part of the ceremony. Not a lot of people are interested because it takes a long time and it costs a lot. So the Tang Yu uh, skills is, uh, is actually passed on in the wealthy uh, family only, and it's not being promoted in the community in overall. That's why the skills is actually dying, and people who are experts and know the crafts are actually just dying out because it only exists in the elite group of people and nobody really has the high, is highly skilled enough to pass it on. Therefore, it is at risk. Uh, it needs to be safeguarded. So currently, uh, people, there is only one person is Kun Tawi Sakpang Zan, who is the craftsman. And he has opened the opportunity for people to learn the skill in Wat Jampa Temple. But most of the people from, for, are from other communities. So they are not really interested in particular heritage because they don't live in the community. So what have we done with the community? So we have studied uh, the community and also through the learning center from uh, San Zhao. So considering the team that we have, we have managed uh, the knowledge and to be able to use the knowledge in actually conducting the uh, study. So the uh, cultural heritage is actually will be beneficial to the society. And it is important for people in the community to realize the value of the heritage. So we want to promote this and we want to uh, people to come in and we want to develop the curriculum in actually the uh, educational institutions uh, amongst the school in the Lingchan district for them to be to able to aware of the heritage that exists uh, in the surrounding community. So they know what they have in the community, how can they conserve, how can they safeguard. And we need a cooperation for people from people in the community and also a cooperation from the district office and so uh, schools and education institutions in the, the Lingtan district. So this particular curriculum uh, to create awareness in order to enable these youth to able to learn and be part of this uh, knowledge development. So it is actually the Kuntui Saks House is actually this learning center, but uh, the contents or knowledge on the particular on the skills on the agriculture of the community it, there is no holistic uh, platform. So if we develop this learning center, this will actually consolidate all the heritage from all perspectives, like the background, the history of it, uh, the banana socks crafting, uh, the dessert, and we can conduct activities uh, in, in, in the form of workshops to encourage uh, the youth to participate. Uh, so uh, this particular center uh, can actually be the center of the community and it can act as the learning center of the, of the community. So uh, the question is, uh, after all the assessment, we want to know what will, you know, what our pro our, whether our pro project will benefit the community. So first, I think our project will be able to create awareness of uh, the people in this heritage particularly the banana stalks crafting. Secondly, it's going to ge generate more income through uh, tourism. Also, uh, there will be, you know, external agency that can come support, whether 
uh, research and development uh, or, or organization that advocates uh, heritage. Fourth, uh, we should be able to build a learning network between the people, the community, and the people and, and, the, and the school and create this strong network, or we call it Bawon. Yeah. And lastly, it's going to uh, enable research to be conducted in community and which may lead to new knowledge and innovation, which will actually come back and benefit uh, the livelihood of the community. So the participation of the community, we have assessed uh, that uh, the participation, well, there will be many players, whether from the uh, local sage himself, Kun Tawi Sapangtan, who will be able to transpire and disseminate uh, and promote this particular skills. Um, other, other group is that the people in the community, they can actually learn these heritage and uh, pass on uh, to other people in schools or people who come and visit. And uh, people in the community be, can be truly a part and take ownership of this project. And they can actually internalize uh, the existence of these uh, and the significance of heritage to the community. Another player is the, the school and education institutions. So they can actually be take part as the learning center. So the curriculum that we want to develop is that it can be used you know, in the schools. And last player is the external agencies and organizations who can take part in promotion of this particular local heritage and, prom and other heritage that exists in the area and for uh, these heritage to be sustainable and be part of Th Bangkok and Thailand. And lastly, uh, I'll show you pictures of the field studies that we've conducted. So what Dampa uh, would uh, group would like to end our presentation here? Thank you. So let's hear from our commentators. First, Kun Vilani Sata, Senior Vice President from Small Entrepreneur Business Development Department from uh, GSB. So this particular community is located in Bangkok and it has uh, the unique identity. So considering your context, I think it's going to be challenging because you only have one person who know the skills and it's going to take uh, a long time and it's going to, there is a lot of cost uh, that's uh, going to be involved before, you know, getting this particular final product. So what you, the way that you're trying to address this is, you know, coming up with a curriculum, right? So, but I don't, I, I wonder if this is going to be sustainable and why, you know, have you ever asked, asked uh, have you ever wondered why there's only one person that actually knows these skills and this particular one person, will he be able to, you know, save, uh, the skills you may need to work, you know, in group, maybe creating awareness. And importantly, uh, this particular heritage should be able to generate in, generate income. And I think people will, st will want to participate. This particular uh, skills or maybe, you know, develop some souvenirs uh, or maybe incorporate that as one of the activities for tourists who visit the community. So I think this will actually generate uh, more activities and more income. But I do like your idea of the curriculum and involving schools in the communities. So I give you full encouragement. Thank you. Kun De Anun, please, Managing Director of Touchpoint Group. So I do have a question in connection to Kun Wilani. So how do you plan to proceed from offline to online? I think it would be an accelerator for uh, this skills to be known. And I think it's going to benefit uh, the income distribution. So to answer uh, your question, we do have idea uh, to uh, develop the online media like Facebook fan page, which can help promote uh, and also serve as the community learning platform. 
and incorporating uh, knowledge on this particular banana stalk uh, crafting skills. Other people who read it, those who are not in Bangkok, if they can access this platform uh, through this particular social media, they should can take part in the conservation and safeguarding and realize the heritage that exists in the community. This is also an idea that we have. And another question, so, well, you know, working with community and you are the initiator and the implementer. So, but if, you know, if you can actually, you actually know the craft or the skills, I think you'll be the key influencers and uh, you can actually influence and not just working with the community. Because uh, what I hear, your pain point is that not a lot of people in interested it doesn't sell really well. So distribution is important. And I think it's all hands on deck and not just relying on the community because there is only one person who knows this craft. Kun Julia Davies from British Council, please. Thank you. Thank you, LK. Um, well, again, an, another amazing presentation. You know, Go up to really understand the history um, and just to understand more about the, the context of where this, um, this craft takes place as well. Also quite interesting to understand the, the, the linkages between the craft with festivals and, and kind of how it's used in the everyday kind of rituals as well. So at funerals and housewarming, that was really interesting to hear. And also just to really emphasize the, the technical ability that's needed for, for this particular craft. It requires, you know, such a high mastery of skill sets. And I think that's something that we really need to, you know, kind of understand and take on board. So, and again, as identified and highlighted by previous commentator, the urgency to safeguard this, if there's literally one, one person that is kind of the, you know, kind of having these skill sets that really needs to, to be addressed quite urgently. And I think obviously then the mechanism that you're considering um, in order to do so th is through educational um, methods and both in the informal education through the learning center and through formal education um, through you know schools and curricula curriculum through schools is also an interesting approach. I think UNESCO could definitely support on advice um, in that regard. I think you know they've got a lot of experience in, um, in that so that could be one you know, kind of some 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 new aspects to to include in your ideas, and um, and again, just kind of perhaps thinking about network creations. Obviously, the first presentation um, is also facing very similar challenges. So, just extending your networks, maybe through the social media, through the Facebook groups, but thinking you're not alone here and really trying to kind of like um, extend your network, I think is really important. So. Um, yeah, I mean, also great that you're building on something that's already there through the Learning Center. I think, you know, you've obviously identified a, a critical resource and to support that resource in going forward, I think is a very valuable approach. So yeah, congratulations, some really interesting ideas as well and quite different as well. And perhaps just to end, um, I'm just wondering if we, um, we've seen very rural settings and now we've kind of come into a much more urban setting and I'm just uh, just a provocation perhaps and I'm just wondering what additional challenges do we face in urban settings compared to rural settings um, for, for safeguarding cultural heritage that would be my my last comment thank you uh, from the questions of Julia, I think it, it is the, the problem is come from the corporations of the people in the community. Yes, that I, um, in my team, we think that if we can bring the people in the, uh, to do this project together, it is can develop and uh, conserve and concert, and concert this uh, heritage uh, in an appropriate way and as well, yeah.